of me or worry if he is no friend of me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity It's mine All right, key binds are set. Pretty much left um, all the uh, graphic stuff defaults, which looks like everything's on high quality wise. 24, 40, um, yeah, I think we're good. Storage is set up. Some water. Looks like I got everything. Some painkillers and um, first aid. All that fun stuff. All the gear I need. Guns. Only main weapon. No sidearm. Well, except for the knife. But well, we'll go into the only map that is unlocked, which is the farm. And uh, that's it. Going in around uh, just before 4 p.m. Looks like. So let's get going. Fresh level one. Hopefully the load time is not too bad. UI is not bad, right? It's pretty similar to the Tarkov. Pretty basic, minimalistic, if you will. We'll see better when we get in game. All right, search and uh, extract. Pretty much on loot and kill. Looks like I got a teammate. There he is, or she, I guess. Um, movement feels all right. All right, looks like he's trying to figure it out too. Doesn't seem like VoIP is working or I don't have it set up properly. I thought I set everything up though, keybind wise and all that, but who knows? Let's see if he'll uh, see if he'll follow. There we go. Shimon! Checking his loadout or inventory. All right, magazine full. Let's do this. All right, pretty simple. Change your rate of fire. Cool that it tells you. Hands on. User friendly. And I potatoed those shots. Thankfully, he didn't. Loot a couple things here to get started. That seems to be it. I mean, movement feels alright, looks okay. Decent graphics. I couldn't change my um, inventory button, so defaults at tab. It won't let you change it in the beta. For some reason that in the map button. Oh wow, searching is very similar to Tarkov. Wow, so <laughs> yeah, I can see that they're, uh, and I've also read and heard that they're uh, the game. This game is highly Tarkov inspired, which it obviously appears to be. All right, well, let's get ca let's get caught up with him so we can get into some fights. Getting some backup. Looks like he killed somebody, that's great. Let's check.
check the area. Oh, looks like your stamina is affected when you are running. Stamina bars uh, bottom left side, the bottom right side, I believe, is uh, you hold your breath for aiming and whatnot. I could talk to this guy. But that's all right. It's the first game. We'll just get in the learn the basics. I think all we need to do in this first game is extract. I think. I don't really think there's any objectives in the first uh, first game, first mission. Oh, uh, sorry, first um, yeah, first game. I guess when you go in. You got a rifle from that first AI, which is awesome. And this red dot. Okay, I'm gonna play a nice little bolt action there. Took care of them easily. Less than half. I like that wording. Kind of funny it doesn't show you specific like 20 out of 30 or whatever. very specific but it, it at least it tells you enough that you, if you need to reload or not depending on the f your engagement it's too bad the secure container is not unlocked yet but I think you can unlock it at level I want to say level two or three or when you unlock um, one of the traders contract I'm oh, sorry contacts I think they call them in this game But, uh, yeah, I think uh, it's more important than, than that. We'll grab this for now. So you can quick move things to your inventory by hitting F by default. Fox drop. I just, out of habit, dragged it over, but... figure out the quick buttons to use all this stuff but, uh, in time. Right now I'll just go through the inventory and make myself vulnerable while I do so. As you can see the bottom left of your screen, it, uh, it's showing what I just used, a bandage. It also shows the quick button. I think it's, a, it's whatever you use last that you can use it again. So if, if I hit to V, Victor, uh, it'll allow me to use another bandage. It looks like I'm bleeding. And I didn't do what I just said, but nonetheless, that's what works. This guy's reloading, I think. Alright, so we have to go west to one of the extraction points. I really want to see if this guy can hear me. I think it looks like it's set up. I don't know why he can't. That's right, we'll just look around for now. Insecticide, I don't think I need that. And I'm full anyways. Even though I could probably sell that or something. that since I could fit it in my inventory. Alright, so we got 27 minutes to do this, which is probably more, way more than enough time. At least for what we're doing since uh, it's our first, uh, first game.
less than half a clip. Should be good for now until we arrive to another area to engage. Eat some food just to make more space in my inventory. I don't know what the value is of anything is when you're selling it, but we'll figure it out. All right, secondary, uh, or I guess second. AR has a half clip, so that's good as the backup. I should blow them all full, but the first game I'm not too, uh, too worried yet. We've got to catch up to our teammate anyways. Figure that out. Um, I have the, the wrong a couple of buttons that are set up improperly, uh, keyblind wise. That was my sneak button, which is also my push talk button I was testing out, which is a terrible combination, obviously. And I do have to keep more of a closer eye on my stamina, because that affects uh, you know, running, jumping, vaulting, probably. So far, it feels pretty good. It looks pretty good. As I fine tune some of the uh, keybinds, get voice set up properly, assuming it's working in game. And, uh, yeah. Oh, let's go help him out. This sneak thing is really pissing me off, though, because I didn't set it up properly. So I'm going to have to figure that out after this game. I think I saw an extraction there. West. Red smoke. Not mistaken. He's just looting somebody. I'll provide him some cover to do so. And yeah, we're not far at all. There's a couple extractions close by. We're gonna move. We're gonna move there. So it looks like that's where you're, where he's headed, anyways. No missions, as you can see. And uh, yeah, let's do. It. Let's just get out of here. First basic one. We survived. Didn't see any players. I think those were all AI. But again, first game. Not too worried. Just getting getting the basics down before we uh, jump right in. Some heavy PvP. That's it. He's ready to go. So am I. Let's get out of here. Success! Alright, made some money, or once we sell it. Killed one person, probably AI. He probably got like, I don't know, four, five, six, maybe, I'm not sure. I think there's an after action report, or however they call it in this game, that we will be able to see closer. Okay, so it's pretty specific as far as. Uh, what you did in the game. Okay, I killed some movie, killed one person, which is AI, I think. Just in 11 minutes. Made a little bit of XP, not a lot, but that's fine. Yeah, there we go. We got an AK worth that, some silver, a helmet. Some basic stuff, but that's good. Just let's get started. All right, well, let's continue. Let's go back in, get ourselves sorted, and uh, get in some PvP if we can. Yeah, there we go. So. Yeah, you know, he got, obviously, a lot more people, which is good. At least one of us did. 
We both survived. Looks like you know a thing or two about surviving in Kimona. Let me see what you managed to find. Sell this stuff to your contacts or on the market. Then use the coin to buy supplies and improve your odds next time. Makes sense. I've got some nice stuff too. If you're interested, feel free to take a look. Well, Adam, just yet, because uh, I don't know, it didn't seem like he was uh, wanting to uh, communicate if it does work, anyways. And if not, that's fine. Plus, I have some friends that want to play this, so that'll be uh, fun to play. check it out with them. Everyone in no Kimono missions. runs some sort of business. Your contacts might not be your friends, but they can certainly help you. That's also, fair. I need your help with a few things. Go on. Okay, got some missions coming. That's good. I need you to take care of a commission for a friend. It's a low-risk job, too. Easy money. Low risk. Easy money, okay. Every like mission in the dark the zone makes you stronger. You'll also be rewarded for your efforts. This isn't charity work after all. Yeah, it's not. Alright, so I'm uh, XP and some money. I'm down with that. Let's accept it. Joel. All right. Uh, oops, didn't mean to click that. All right. You have any missions for us? Survey says no missions. All right. That's okay, Vita. Looks like we'll be able to purchase some stuff from her though. Oh, we unlock some stuff, great. Key, food, water, meds. Not bad, not bad, okay. All the basics. And what can we buy from you? Oh, okay, we unlock some stuff. Shotgun, a couple of weapon parts, a couple of mags, and some ammo. Cool, alright. Again, yeah, pretty basic stuff, but it's the first game, so to be expected. We got a lot of money now, but it's just because uh, they gave some money to us when we uh, got into the closed beta, which is nice, just to be able to buy stuff and check everything you want out, check all the contacts, what they can sell, or what we can buy from them, all that stuff. We got a helmet we can get rid of. Definitely need to. I'm, I was pretty ammo heavy coming out of in that game, so I didn't really have much space to loot. Plus, the secure container hasn't been unlocked, which is a bit more space as well. So let's do some inventory management before next game. And pretty heavy in the meds too, so I'll probably just maybe uh, maybe I was a bit too paranoid bringing in, getting ready for war, and bringing in uh, tons of ammo and meds. So this time maybe I'll take it a bit more easy and, and rely on the environment in terms of being able to loot some items when I'm out there. Be nice if we get a bigger chest rig, bigger bag. But uh, like everything else in any game like this, uh, in due time. So we'll put back the stuff we don't need right now. Bring in the basics for next game. Obviously, I have a ton of meds, so I obviously don't need my uh, secondary rifle. So I can probably get one out there. I wouldn't mind getting a bolt action with a scope or something with a scope would be nice. If not, I can perhaps purchase something later on. Yeah, okay. I have a bit of space here now. Maybe I'll get rid of the loose ammo. 
since all my mags are full. I wonder if the menu is like Targov. Yep, pretty similar. You can probably check out all the attachments that you can get for them. Yeah, all the parts. Cool. Yeah, pretty, uh, very similar, very similar to EFT. And other games too, of course. I'm using uh, Tarkov as a, a common example that everyone uses. But uh, to all the all the extraction games I've played, it's definitely the closest I've seen. I'm just going to fix a couple settings here so that uh, perhaps in the next game, if I do get a teammate, I'll be able to hear them and vice versa. So I'm going to switch my interact and my uh, push to talk button for voice in game. Basically, revert them back to default. I think it's, uh, yeah, Echo and Foxtrot. So I'm going to reverse those. Get that working. And we've got some missions going, or at least one mission. Oh, we got some money here. Okay. Some mail. For the hotfix. Okay, yeah. We'll take it. Sure. I'll throw that in my inventory and my one of my favorite buttons in any... <laughs> yeah. In any game similar to this is sorting. All right, no more mail. Let's get back into a game. What do we say? Is there the game modes? No, just the farm. Or maps, I should say. Let's do it. So I noticed it looked kind of weird in the inventory. So that's what those, I guess when it's empty, you can roll it up, which conserves space. That's pretty cool. All right. I don't see a teammate, so I guess I'm solo this round. Oh, there you go. So now I can see my name in the game when I'm talking. So the last time it wasn't working. But nonetheless, I didn't hear the other guy talk, so... Either way, it seems like it's working in-game, which is nice in the beta. Alright, some gunfire. Alright, so we're just uh, west of the Vila. And we have to... Uh, yeah, we have to head further west to extract the farmhouse. Different types of extractions. It looks like. So I think green extractions are where you can, uh, where there's no fulfillment to extract, i.e. pay to extract or whatever other ways you can uh, you can extract from the map. And we'll find out as we go. Oh, there's someone down there. Fully auto for this. No, oh, he did. I think that's a player. He's moving like a player, but who knows? Better oh. heard more than one. 
Yep. That looked like a player, but we'll see. Oh. Oh shit. That's where it's nice if you had a secondary. So maybe sidearm. Oh damn. Alright, use that quick heal this time. Bottom up your screen, that's nice and handy. Without having to go in your inventory and be uh, vulnerable. So this guy does not have a dog tag, so he was probably at uh, I'm assuming. That's right, we'll take, uh, we'll take what we can fit for now. Some dog tags. So that was a player then. Seems like it's better than what I have, so let's switch that up. And the helmet is better too. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe not in better shape, but uh, better quality in general when I can get it repaired or whatever the, the trader contact. I don't know what they're called. A sidearm now, which is nice. I'll take uh, maybe swap the shotgun for the AK. Probably worth more of my money, I'm assuming. I'm not really sure yet, but we'll just do that for now and not spend too much time here. Yeah, the game uh, looks decent, right? Pretty decent graphics. It feels all right. Doesn't feel clunky, oh, except for when I get stuck myself. Which I, didn't, I just tried to go through there, but I was like, I was too big too. Definitely got to keep an eye on my stamina. I really um, am bad about that. So we're going to be moving west to an extraction point. All right. So if you pay, yeah, if you pay, you can uh, extract. At different areas, so I guess that's where a uh, secure container would come in handy. Or if you just find cash out, or bring it with you. Whatever, as long as you have it with you, I guess you can uh, you can extract. But we'll find out if maybe you can extract with money in a bank, so to speak, or in your inventory. I don't know. Not your current inventory you have with you, but uh, your, your stash, I guess. I doubt you'll probably need it with you because otherwise it would be kind of weird. But We'll find out. We gotta pass by there anyways. Yeah, the UI is pretty clean. Pretty similar to other games in this uh, genre. I definitely have to fix my sneak button again because I forgot to do that. Like an idiot. But um, that's alright. So only the second game, we'll find ten things. So basically we're going to follow this wall or this, uh, this edge to the extraction zone since we're full, loot-wise. So this looks like an extraction point and that's the one we have to pay to extract so we'll find out if we can do that. Survey says nope. Yeah, okay, so we need to have the money with us. That makes a lot of sense. So maybe it's worth bringing a bit of cash with you. That way it gives you options if you uh, want to extract while you're in the game at different areas. 
Oh, definitely hear somebody. Just to make sure. Should have done that before. And perhaps pick up our clip, our mag. Nothing to open. Can't climb the fence. Can I vault over the fence? No. Or at least I'm not doing it properly, I'm not sure. Oh, I could probably jump in my wall. Actually, let's see if we can go a different way. I still hear some right here. I don't want to be caught mid-animation getting clapped by somebody. AI or otherwise. Oh. Well, he saw me. Or heard me, I'm not sure. Or both. There we go. Yes. Good spot to get up. I don't know where this guy is, but we'll uh, move forward. I think I saw him, yep. We can just move on or we can take him out. We'll probably take him out. Because why not? That he's yelling to all his friends, so that's not helping. Come on, man, peek out. Let me see ya. There you are. No sense looting him since I'm all full. I mean, I could get some better stuff, but let's just let's just go to the extraction since we're full and we're alone too. Probably against well, that those guys we fought earlier. Um, they, I assume, were all together, minus the first I think AI that I killed. I think the other two guys were together because otherwise they were running alongside one another. So. Could do a zoom again with my friggin' stamina. Basically full, so I'm missing four rounds from when I just shot that last AI. So 26 out of 30. So there's considering that as basically full, it's kind of funny. I mean, I would too, just the wording is kind of funny. Uh-oh. Crikey! Alright, still a little bit west from us for the extraction. I should check out the red zones, but I just kind of want to play it safe right now and then uh, go back in. Come in preferably with a teammate, someone I can communicate with, if it's someone I don't know at least in game. At least communicate in game rather than uh, a friend or a buddy or something that I can I can get in with. It would be a bit more tactic be a bit more tactical and uh, strategic. And obviously watch each other's backs. Uh oh, what do you call me? A rat? Yeah, who's the rat now? Oh, I'm gonna pick up my garbage. Here we go. I wonder if there's a way to reload without dropping your your mag in the ground, just getting it to go back in your uh, your vest, your rig, rather. I don't know. Okay, I see some red smoke over here. It looks like the extraction. 
Again, my sneak button screwing me up. I have to figure that out because it's not convenient. Definitely useful in game, but not convenient in terms of um, how I have it set up. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Made it, almost. Shouldn't get too uh, greedy until I'm actually out. There we go. Two missions successful. Injured a little bit, killed a few, got a bit of loose. Not bad for the first uh, couple of the first two missions, anyways. Very detailed in their uh, after action report. I got six total, th three operators, so three players. Th I guess three AI, three players, and I completed one mission, which is just to extract from the farm. Perfect raid. Made some money once I sell it. This combat history is pretty cool. Look very detailed in terms of what you did and where and what time during the uh, the raid that it occurred where you killed specific people what gun you used to kill them like during at that exact moment where you entered certain areas yeah I like that that's really cool okay did we unlock anything? We did. Wait, did we unlock level 3 or is it telling me that I will unlock this at level 3? Okay. Excellent. Defeated 3. Oh, they got a battle pass. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, claim some 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 moolah because why not that's what logged in for one day is that it's pretty basic some bulletproof cases hell yeah that's what we want nice It's not bad for uh, some simple check-ins. So you get a helmet, some pills, some money, more money, more money, some armor. All right. Well, I think that's it. Um, going to end the video very soon, here, slash, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I really enjoyed the game, I'm definitely going to play some more of it. And uh, if there's anything new, I'll probably uh, have a new video, maybe later on this beta, or, um, you know, uh, next beta, whatever, or when the game releases, who knows. We'll play it by ear, and um, yeah, again, thank you for checking it out with me and um, I had a lot of fun yeah it looked really good felt really good no real complaints minus some key buying issues but I think that is partially on me and then uh, I'm sure we'll get that resolved and be able to fine-tune uh, all that stuff and uh, jump back into another raid hell yeah all right thanks again guys